Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Node series. Um, this episode we're going to be learning about NPM, which stands for Node Package Manager. So I'm going to be teaching you noobs how to use it. And uh, it's going to make your life way more interesting because this is very, very cool. So um, basically, NPM is a thingy that allows you to use thousands of maybe maybe a million. I don't know. I don't know how many, but I know of thousands for sure. Hundreds of thousands of different JavaScript and Node APIs made by just random people that post their packages on their website. Oh, well, on the NPM website. So anyway, um, it allows us to use those packages, which are basically AP APIs, like I said. And so, um, we, since we already know how to start an NPM project by doing uh, NPM init, we can learn now to install uh, node packages and um, that will allow us to do many cool things and uh, yeah. So um, yeah, so let's get right into it actually. So we're just gonna first make a new project here. So a new folder for our uh, little tutorial that we're about to do here. So we're gonna name it NPM tutorial. Okie dokie. All right, and we're gonna come back to this folder from yesterday um, later next episode probably maybe so uh yeah so we have a new folder here okay so let's go right click and then let's do get bash here well let me close my other bash first uh sure whatever don't care all right so we're gonna do get bash here okay cool so first right off the bat if you remember correctly um we have to do npm init to actually start a project okay and then it's going to ask us a bunch of crap once it loads okay so yeah um, I like that name. It should work. So we're going to do that name. Okay. Version one description entry point test command. Oh, entry point, by the way, I said it was app.js yesterday, but I mean, that's true. It should be app.js, I believe, but you don't really have to set it. Um, cause we're not doing anything with it yet. So to be honest, just don't worry about that. You can just leave it default for now. But anyway, um, let's just keep going author. I'll set Illuminati productions. Okie dokie. Um, yes, looks good to me. Okay, so ls, make sure the file's in there, good. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and create our app.js. App um, we can do that. So um, so we'll open this folder inside our thingy here. I have to burp so bad, oh my gosh. Oh, it went away, I was about to burp in your face. Okay, um, so we're gonna do select folder here. Okay, it should open. Do, 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 do. Loading, loading, loading. Cool. Okay, so we loaded it up. I'm sick of this crap. Stop being annoying. Okay, so we're going to make a new file. We're going to call it app.js, of course. That's what we'll be naming our server file every single time. Every time we make a node web application, at least. And um, yeah, so uh, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and make our server, of course, because we need a server to run, basically. So, um, yeah, we're just going to make our default server template, of course, like we always do. So before we do that, of course, we need to install um, um, a package, um, Express. So I'm just going to install this like I did last time. I'm not going to explain it, explain it yet, but I'll be explaining it. Don't worry, because um, this is the point of this episode. I'll be explaining how to install stuff and how to use packages. So anyway, um, we're just going to install this one real quick so we can get this done. So npm install express dash dash save. Okay, so let that run. And it's going to install everything we need, hopefully. So we're going to do const express equals require express. Looks good to me. So then we'll do uh, const app equals express. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay, so... Um, now that we have that, we can do we can start the app. So or start the server at least. Uh, app listen on port 3000, just like last time. Now we need a callback function. I'll do it like this this time. This is easier. So callback function like that. You just put function as the parameter, and then we'll do inside of here. Of course, will be our code that's run whenever the server starts up. Oops, this is not Java. I can't do that shortcut. Okay, so console dot log we'll say the server has started up okay cool so now that we have that let's go ahead and uh, run this just to make sure it's working and all that fun stuff so we'll do node app.js 
Okay, so it says the server has started up, so that means that it works correctly, okay? No errors, good. So, let's go ahead and stop the server. And uh, yeah, so to install a package, you need to go to this website here, npmjs.com. I'll leave the link in the description for you. And um, yeah, so you need to find a package to actually install because you need to know the name of the package that you're going to install. So assuming that you're new at this, you don't know any packages. But if you scroll down, scroll down actually, you can you can see that Express is actually right here. So um, yeah, that's one of the most famous packages, of course. You know, yep. So we're gonna install a package that I know. It's called CatMe. It's a very good package for printing out pictures of cats. Um, cat dash me. We'll try that. There you go. So here it is. I'll put the link in the description for this in case you're too lazy to type it in. Okay, so now we have the name of the package, which is cat cat dash me. Make sure you know the exact name. Uh, it's case sensitive, I believe. So actually, it might not be, but I would stick to that if I were you. Make it case case sensitive. So how do we install a package? Okay, so there's one way you can install a package. You could do npm install. And then the package name, we'll do cat-me, that's the package name. And we can press enter to install that. But what if um, we want to save this to our project, our NPM project, so that whenever we move this uh, move this web server to a different machine, like uh, my Linux server or something like that, it'll automatically install every package that I have. I can't do that unless I do dash dash save at the end, okay? So basically, th to summarize what I just said, all that gibberish, Basically, just do dash dash save whenever you're adding a package to any of your web applications, okay? It makes your life way easier, okay? So that's what that does. It just saves it to your uh, dependencies folder, whatever, or file. And uh, yeah, so so we'll go ahead and press enter here. Uh, then it's going to load and run and all that. So just give it a second. Okay, so it's done, it looks like. So uh, it did everything it needs to do. No errors, good. Um, so before we start using that, if you look on the package, um, you know, page, it pretty much, um, usually if the, if the person who made it, the author is pretty good, he'll explain exactly what you need to do to make this, um, this package work. So they'll explain some of the commands that you need to know for this package, some of the methods that you can run with this package, all that cool stuff. So if you need help with the package, if you don't know how to use it, make sure you just check out the page right here, or sometimes they'll link another page or that shows everything. But anyway... So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and ba go back to our file here, and let's figure out how do we start using this package that we just got. Okay, so how do we start printing out pictures of cats? Because that's what this package does. It's really simple. Um, we can't exactly call any of the cat me functions, like for example, cat me. We can't do that. What the hell? I did not mean to do that. So we can't call that function because it actually doesn't exist yet we need to um, add a require statement, okay? So like we did up here, basically. So we can just add it, um, hmm. I'm not sure if the order matters, but we'll just do it right here after express, okay? So we'll do constant, or just const, you know, that stands for constant, of course. So const, and then we can name it whatever you want. Just name it cat me, okay? That's basically gonna be the reference variable that you can run all the methods associated with that package, okay? So const cat me, that can be named anything, of course, but then you do require, okay, and that require statement method, whatever, takes one parameter, it takes the name of the package, okay? And this cannot be anything, it has to be the exact package name that you installed, okay? So that'd be cat dash me, so now we have access to that, okay, cool. So now that we added the require statement, we can actually run some of the code that comes with the catme package. So if we go back to our, um, go back to the page for catme, we'll see all the methods that we can run. Maybe not all of them, but it just tells you the primary method here, cat uh, just catme right here. So we have this code. This is what um, we need to do. It even showed us what we needed to do. So if we run this code here, this method, it will return a picture of a cat basically. So let's go ahead and try that out now. So we'll do cat me and then you add that to the end and that should work so that's all we need to do pretty much so uh, yeah so let's go ahead and run our little thing in here so uh, yeah so we'll do node app.js server started up but we uh we come across a problem because um so let's go back to a terminal um we run the the server of course but nothing actually prints out remember i said that it's supposed to print out a picture of a cat it actually never did that so the reason that is, is because catme, the, the function method here, it doesn't actually print out a message of a cat, it just returns a message of a cat. So we have to console.log catme, okay? 
So that's why that is, okay? It just, it returns a cat image. It doesn't print one out, okay? So you have to print it out manually, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll stop our server, go ahead and restart it. And there we go, we get a cat. So if we keep restarting, we can get a new cat every time. That's pretty cool, you know? It's just stupid little kitties, but you know, that's pretty cool though. So um, that's the first way to use um, the cat me package, okay? But anyway, this is how you um, basically use any sing every like package that comes with NPM, okay? The way I just installed it is the way that you would install it, and you use this require statement the same for every package that you install, okay? And each package will have its own methods, okay? Maybe it's not like this. It's going to be different. Just make sure you check on the package page and stuff like that. So don't worry. If this was a little hard, um, you know, you'll get, <laughs> you'll get used to it. It's all very simple stuff, okay? But before we move on, if we go back to our page here and we look and see here, um, there's actually a CLI version of the CatMe package, okay? And CLI is basically a terminal program, okay, that runs in the terminal, okay? So we don't actually have to install it and do all this code. We don't need to have any code. We can actually run the command within the terminal. So we can run CatMe inside the terminal and it'll, it'll print out a, a cat to the console. So you can actually do it. You can't actually do it yet because we installed the, the, the um, you know, the regular version. But if you want to install the CLI version, we can do this command here. So npm install cat-me-g. Okay, so what does dash g do? That installs it globally, meaning it's installed on your whole system, every computer, uh, well, every, every part of your computer. So basically, we can go to another folder and run this. That's what that means, okay? And uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and run this, okay? So we get that, let's install it. Okie dokie, and then we could do uh, cat me, and that should work. So cat me should print out cat, there we go, we get a cat. So cat me, cat me, cat me. So we get a new cat every time, pretty cool, right? And likewise, we have some commands here, so we can do like cat me dash dash help. I mean, it's all so simple, right? But um, anyway, so usually you're not going to be using CLI programs um, that much. Um, you're just going to be working with the the in file packages, okay? So anyway, um, that was pretty simple. So let's go ahead and install one more package so we get the hang of this uh, stuff here. So we'll find a new package to install. Um, hmm. We'll install this package. I think it's this one, Lodash. Let's see. Let's see if it's this one. Hmm. Okay, let's check this out. Lodash library, so we can look up all the documentation for it. Okay, so it tells us everything that comes with Lodash, so documentation. And yeah, so Lodash basically is a big, um, I don't really use it, but it's a big library um, that provides a bunch of stuff. Like we have a math part of it, so we can do some math functions here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's try this here. So we're going to install this package here, okay? And remember, that this um, this way of installing that I've already showed you is how you install every single package, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, okay? So we're going to install a new package. We're going to install Lodash. So we know the name Lodash. So npm install Lodash, and then dash dash save, okay? Enter, and then it's going to do all the magic. Okay guys, we're done now. It's been 20 years, but we're back. And uh, yeah, so we have it installed. We have Lodash installed. So now we can use it. So we do we do it the same way we did last time with CatMe. We could do const Lodash. Uh, Lodash is equal to the require Lodash. There we go. And so likewise, we can now run Lodash commands that come with it. So one of them that we looked in the documentation was dot add, which is a method. Okay, so we can do lodash dot add. Okay, and then it's going to tell us what parameters we need. First, we need one number, and then we need a second number. So we're going to be adding two numbers, right? So we'll do five and six. So we'll be adding five plus uh, six. Okay, so that's actually going to return a number. It's not going to print out the number for us like before, you know. So uh, so console oops console dot log. And then we're going to cut this, paste it in there. Okay. Let's get rid of this kitty here. Uh, I accidentally got rid of a parentheses, it seems like. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and run this now. Oh, no. <laughs> I just ran the install thing again. Oops. 
Okay, so we run the server here. Where is it? Node app.js. There we go. So it says 11. Good. So 5 plus 6 is indeed 11. So that's good. So, um, yeah, so that's how you install packages, basically. I know that was a very simple episode, but, um, yeah, so that's how you install packages. It's very vital to um, working with Node.js and Express and all that fun stuff because whenever you start making websites, you're going to need, like, a million packages because it's just so cool. Like, there's packages that you wouldn't even think of, like... For example, one of my websites, onlinereading.org, it's not there anymore, but that's where it was. Um, I needed a way to get get um, ISBN code. So I, an, an ISBN code is basically the code that is associated with every book that to ever exist, okay? So if you find a book right now, you can look on the back of the book and it'll have an ISBN code, okay? So what the package allowed me to do was enter any random ISBN code and it would tell me what book that is, what title, what author. And it provides a bunch of information. That's just really cool. Um, there's no way I, can, I could have coded that in like a, a sm, like a small amount of time. It would have took a little while. So that definitely helps me. And yeah, so that's just a little bit of an example. But uh, yeah, so I ho I know this episode is re really easy, you know. But uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or join our Discord. That's in the description. You could check that out. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. And peace. <laughs>